system, the uh, let's say main ingredient in that are self-driving, so autonomously driving uh, cars or small buses with electric traction. Yeah? And the idea is that uh, when you are at home and want to go somewhere, you take your smartphone, type in where you want to go, and the, the smartphone tells you your option that you have. Basically, either a private car or a, or a bus will come to your house, and um, then you, you step in, and uh, this car or, or bus will bring you to your destination. If it's a bus, it will take a bit longer because the bus will also go to some other clients nearby and to some other um, destinations. But if it's your private car, of course, will directly drive there and you step out of the car and the car will drive either to the next customer or to a, 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 a space where it is loaded with electricity again. There is in the city there are no private cars or vehicles allowed. Only bicycles are private. Yeah? But all of our cars are not private. Then, of course, basically this is for the city. If you now want to go... And what I forgot is it might be, or I think we have to keep the railbound system that is already there, so some metro or so because otherwise we might still get traffic jams with our only private cars. However, to avoid traffic jams, among other things, the price is depending on the time and the destination. So, in certain times it might be that it is more expensive to avoid that too many people start then. Some might say, okay, then I wait an hour and then we'll, it, it will get cheaper again. And so we will somehow avoid traffic jams. Of course, all cars are interconnected, so you can optimize where these cars drive so that indeed no traffic jams occur. Um, then, when you want to go somewhere outside of the city, there are two options. One option is uh, your private car brings you to the main station, and there you step into a uh, into a train which brings you to the next city where you step out and there already another car is waiting for you to, to show you around. The other option, especially if you do, do not visit a city but want to go to the Black Forest or something, then you go to a big space again at the border of the city where you change your city car into a car which has a bit uh, also longer capacity, so which which you can drive around as long as you want, and only when you come back then to the city, you will change the car to a city car again. There will also be maybe different kinds of cars. So if you want to have a bit more luxury car, you may also, uh, of course, have to pay more. But then you would get uh, maybe a car with some um, some. Which is a bit better, which is a better, more has a bit more luxus, luxus in it. Okay, that is the main idea about our transport system. Now, basically, uh, one of the what is not so prominent there is really the public transport. Or what I forgot is that, of course, also cycling is allowed. However, you have your private bicycle and you can drive around. Now, to somehow plan or, or somehow uh, rule this system, you have two parts of areas. You have mixed zones, where you have as well your autonomously driving cars, as the bicycles, as some pedestrians, yeah? and you have to be a bit careful about this, and so the cars are not allowed to run too fast. Mm -hmm. uh, and secondly, you have then separated traffic for the through traffic. So you have bicycle lines, but you would also have uh, lines for your autonomous driving cars, but these are separated. And so of course it means that the speed in these separated areas is also, can also be much higher and it can be much more optimized. Huh? So Two more minutes, Rainer.
Hmm? Two more minutes. Oh, okay, but that was also our main point. We, we spent most of the time on that. Yeah? Um, just continuing with the heating system, uh, we will have a smart housing. So again, to optimize uh, the not only the amount of heating, but also when we need to operate the heating, because the heating will be with mostly with electricity. And the electricity, of course, is not always there if sun is not shining or so on. And so there will be some a demand side management yeah, in, in, in the, all the houses. Also, when you operate your, your washing machine. Um, the main um, techniques for this will be, uh, let's say, heat pumps, or you can also say air conditioner and converter which have the big advantage that you can not only heat with the device, but you also can cool with this device if it's really hot. Uh, but of course, this means you have to have a, there will be also a much better insulation of the houses than we have now, which however means you need some mechanical ventilation system also with the old houses because you have to have a large air exchange rate because uh, this will help you with, this, uh, with, with your health issues to make the indoor air pollution not too high. And of course, this device also has a heat recovery, so you save again in, in, in air pollution and also on greenhouse gas emissions. With, others, with the other things, uh, social things, especially uh, there was mentioned that we need enough spaces, indoor, outdoor, wherever, where people can meet just to encourage the people that they don't only look into your mobile phones and uh, somehow communicate via WhatsApp and uh, what, what are these other things, okay? Uh, but also really have at least the opportunity to meet in person somewhere. Especially as more and more things will go online, so uh, uh, let's say uh, still working, there will be a number of people that work at home, or um, let's say uh, shopping, there will be a lot of people that shop online at home and so you will have less and less opportunities to meet with other people and you have some say how to do something to give some opportunities nevertheless to meet. This might also be uh, not only with the spaces, spaces that you might provide but also by uh, promoting more cultural events where people come together and have a common uh, let's, uh, let's say experience with this cultural event, a concert or something. Um, with economic and employment, more and more hard work will be made by robots. This will not necessarily mean, maybe not mean that employment uh, will be reduced so you have more unemployed, but it might mean that those uh, that um, have now unskilled work, this Oh, okay. Uh, this, this 30 seconds. Uh, oh, uh, this is a circus 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, this, for the unskilled, yeah, we need to find something else. So, for instance, uh, promoting social activities or doing some care, some care for the elderly or so. And to pay this, of course, you have to increase taxes. And this taxes could then not be a taxes on the income but a taxes on robots. So if a robot produces something, 10% of the production value will go to as, as tax to the, to the government. Mm -hmm. um, with consumption and diet, especially uh, well, healthier food, shorter food chain is important, good quality. But the most important uh, change might be less meat production because meat production is very, not so much environmentally friendly. And then of course the question is, uh, will this then be uh, somehow compensated by producing more of this artificial food or not or what will happen that we don't know. And uh, also uh, the opinion here was that it is not so bad to try to use gene manipulated food if it's done properly because then you would need much less uh, for instance pesticides for the production of this. Okay. And last but not least, uh, that's the last sentence. Uh, the more efficient use of energy will be supported by the point that all consumer products will be smart products that will be interlinked via the 
internet and so on will be somehow optimizing the use of these consumer products. Okay, that's it. Great, thank you. Uh, anyone else from the group got anything to say? No? Exhausted. Exhausted, okay, great. <laughs> so that's team B.